Okay, I decided to make a video of this car. I uh, got the fan, my little red fan. I took it out. I can tell it's bad. Let's see if I can. It quit. It's. I can't get it to. I don't hear it now like I did. I didn't think you'd hear it on the phone because that mic's not very good, but there. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear that the bearing, bearing's bad, or bushing. And, uh, you know, you can try cleaning them up <coughs> and stuff, but even if it helps, it doesn't usually help for long. So I'm going to put, it goes in the side of there. And uh, this one here has already been. See, this one I, evidently I got it from something else because I, I I wired it up with wire nuts. Works really good. Actually, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's good enough to be safe with 110 volt in every house in America, and there and a 220 and 240. Then it ought to be good enough for DC inside of a computer. And a matter of fact, I used to do it in my, under the dash of my car and stuff back in the 70s. My car and trucks never had one come loose. you got to make sure you put them on good, make sure they're good and tight. But uh, this little uh, Molex adapter, this Molex adapter will, um, actually it'll go either way. And so that'll make sure it goes into my computer. This one's too short. It's got to go, got to be longer. But I took it in and I tested it because I have a I have a power supply that I run my audio amps off of that has it's two computer two computer power supplies. I just dropped a just dropped a wire nut. Hold them in my hands instead of there it is. <coughs> instead of putting them down. Okay, now I really want to sit down, but I can't get my chair up here. Okay, those are still good enough. So I can go by the color code. I didn't have to. <coughs> so red will be be hot and black will be warm. And then I'm going to put it on there. And I, I, anyway, I have a two computer power supplies and two car amplifiers inside of an old Dell computer case with a motherboard that I blew up by a lightning strike we had years ago. And it is my power supply amp. That's what I call it. Um, it powers my amplifiers, and then if I need 5 volt or five, uh, 12 volt or even 3, I never need 3.5 volt, but it has all of them. Uh, you know, that's anytime I have it on. And I generally turn it on when I get up, turn it off when I go to bed, because that's for my sound for my stereo system. Well, it's half of my. I've got those two amps. Oh wait, it is all of my amps now. I had those two plus another one, my, my AWA jam box, which is over there now. It got to where after it's probably back in the late mid late nineties. Finally got to where it doesn't uh, the box, I guess the caps or something are going bad in it because it, it, it'll either go full volume. It's done it before and then it, and it quit and got. I just unplug it and plug it back in and it would straighten out, but. It'll either go full volume or no volume. Yeah. So it's stuck in full volume, so I unplugged it and brought it out here. And, uh, so, oh, anyway, I plugged it in there to make sure it didn't make noise or anything. I knew uh, it's written on here that it's good, so I had tested it at some point. And I wanted to make sure it made no didn't make noise, and I wanted to see which way the air blew. So I figured that out. And, uh, Now I've got to put everything back here. Let's see. This uh, door. I got this case for free because when I bought a computer kit from Tiger Direct, it came with this completely cracked like that. And I put some screws through there to try to keep it from getting worse. And I, well, actually, I guess it would keep it from rattling is really what I was trying to do. Uh, so there, 
they're self-tapping screws that I put in there. But anyway, uh, you, you know, they don't look bad on the, on the outside. Um, got this. What am I going to do? It's okay. I want the wire to go. Let's see, the fan. What does that mean? Air goes that way. It doesn't go the way you would think by just looking at the fan. So I want the air to go out. Yeah, I want it. And so I want this protector right there. Yeah, that's how. That is how it is. How it came out of there, evidently. I'm going to try to line it all up. And then you've got these, uh, I'll do them one at a time. Now let's get them all in there. Maybe it'll work. Then you've got this uh, outside really grill that's more, more for looks, you know. That one there will keep you from sticking your finger in it from the outside. And then with the door on it, you know, you wouldn't normally be able to get into it. But if you have the door off and it's still plugged in, you can get into it. If the machine's running, which I had it in that condition before, in that situation, I don't think I hit it. That one I did. If I can get two of them, I'll be all right. Oh, I think I did get it. Okay. I was afraid it was going to be hard to do, but I think it's worked out. Need to over tighten it, it's just all plastic. That'll help that cracked plexiglass from keep it from rattling, too. I realized I was just going to take the fan off and leave it off, but then I saw, I thought, well, I have fans out here, I know I at least have one that works. They're not lighted, but I knew I had some 80 millimeter fans that works. That was a nice, pretty red fan, and I can still buy another one. I I didn't want to buy one. I didn't feel like taking it apart and looking at it because I hadn't been feeling good. And I had so many other things to do when I did feel like doing something. So I haven't done anything with it till today when I got desperate for to get my server back up and running again. When my suddenly now I can't, it's lost its network connection and I can't figure it out. So I thought, well, this if I can make this fan quit making noise. Then it'll be, uh, <coughs> I can use it as a server again. Okay, so, should be okay. Now, I guess I'll turn off the video and go on, go put this stuff up and go. Well, I'll just, yeah, I'm going to put this stuff up because I know the fan works, I already tested it. And I need to move this to put the stuff up. And then I'll get back in the house.